안녕하세요. 해연여군의 진이아빠입니다. 오늘은 우리 스위스의 호텔학교 BHMS의 우리 담당자분을 모시고 학교에 대해서 이제 한번 알아보는 시간을 갖도록 하겠는데요. 안녕하세요. Thank Introduce you, yourself. Yeah. It's great to be here at HYEDU and I love being in Seoul. Well, yeah. Andrew is my name and I'm here obviously coming from BHMS in Switzerland. Uh, where we've got an amazing university experience for many of your students and we're very proud to be here because, again, you've invited us here to talk to the, about the school, but yeah. not just that, you've invited us to enjoy the lovely sunshine we've mm. got today, despite the cold weather. BHMS라는 이 학교의 어떤 전통과 역사에 대해서 한번 좀 소개를 좀 부탁드릴게요. Ah, well, yeah. <laughs> I'm only the sales guy. Mm. I come here and talk about the passion and the enjoyment of the school. But the school itself is actually a part of a much larger university mm. group, mm. which gives us some incredible resources and an, a, a large number of professors who are not just teachers, they're actually professional businessmen mm. who have worked throughout their careers and with great success, but they've decided to pass on that excellence by teaching the next generation. And hopefully we can see that coming from Korea as well. We've had some amazing students already and we've had a lot of fortune to have some very good students coming directly from HYEDU here. So thank you again, Mr. John. But BHMS is actually a much smaller part or a much smaller component mm. of the larger group. And uh, BHMS is literally the English speaking part in most beautiful city in Switzerland. 자, 그러면 이제 BHMS가 이제 루체른이라는 도시에 위치해 있는데 그 주변 환경과 위치를 좀 이렇게 설명 좀 부탁드리겠습니다. Well, many people are familiar with Switzerland itself. I mean, you've got Europe and then Switzerland in the center and literally our city, quite a small but beautiful city, Lucerne, is right in the center of Switzerland. And the school itself is located in the heart of the city, mm. which gives students access to not just obviously simple school facilities and a, a simple walk to the train station mm. where they can access almost any European country very easily, but also gives them the ability to enjoy the city life with mm. a sense of safety and security. They can have a cup of coffee with friends or with some of their classmates and lecturers. Yeah. They can wander down and eat at some of the most amazing restaurants, enjoy some of the European cuisine from around the area. And literally, there are so many other things to do there that Lucerne has become the most visited city in Switzerland. More people visit this tiny little city than just about anywhere else in the world which gives students the ability to meet and greet and speak with people from just about every culture, hear just about every language whilst they're there, which is one of the reasons why our students just, it's not just an academic experience. Mm. We believe that the students deserve to have a, a, a genuine life experience, which let, allows them to grow not just professionally, but personally. And that growth is something that stays with them throughout their entire lives and career, making them some of the most valuable employees for any business anywhere in the world. 자, 그러면 이제 BHMS는 어떤 전공들을 이제 가지고 있나요? Ah, well, yes, yeah. we, 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 we don't do everything. We're not a university that covers all different mm. subjects, all different majors, but what we do do, we do very well. I mean, the Swiss people have been known for many, many years to be literally the beginnings of hospitality, but not just hospitality, but business as well. And obviously being a part of that and being in the center of Europe and surrounded by so many beautiful countries, France, Italy, Germany, Austria, even Spain. I mean, we, we developed into a, an amazing culinary school too. And our new facilities mean that we can now do a bachelor's degree in culinary arts, which mm. is quite an extraordinary program now. I, I wish I could introduce you to some of our chefs. They're so passionate about what they do and our, our students are all getting fantastic jobs after they work. We also do a global business management mm. degree, which is probably what many, many people in Korea are very interested in because it teaches students not just the basics and about business, but it teaches them how to create their own business ideas 
but also not just how to make money, but how not to lose money, which is critical. And Swiss people, Swiss banks, as you can be well aware, are pretty good with money. Mm -hmm. And again, our core focus, which was originally hotel management. Mm -hmm. And again, Switzerland is the heart of hospitality. And mm -hmm. most of the world's most famous hotels literally began right where we are. So students have an opportunity to see where it all started, learn the Swiss way of doing things and, and understand how to bring that back to Korea mm. and develop the industry here as a whole. 자, 그러면 이제 그 BHMS의 학업 시스템이 이제 다른 대학교들하고 좀 다른데 어떤 학업 시스템을 가지고 있나요? 아, well we the Swiss, yeah. <laughs> the, the Swiss yeah. education system yeah. is actually quite different. Yeah. I mean, every university mm. that you're talking about here at HYEDU is mm. going to be very good academically. Mm. And, and we are the same. As I mentioned earlier, we've got some amazing professors, amazing teachers who are passionate about what they do. But something different about Swiss education, many of you may not already be aware of, is that the Swiss education is an extremely hands-on, very mm -hmm. practically focused education system. We don't just read from a book and then give you an exam. Mm -hmm. I mean, that, that's sort of an old-fashioned way, I suppose, of yeah. teaching, where Swiss education, we try and not just teach you about it from a book and show you a few videos mm -hmm. or that type of thing. It's, it's much more where we actually get in and do what we were taught. And this is indicated mainly through our internship program mm. where students themselves, for every year that they come to study with us, they're not actually studying from a book for the whole year. Mm. We, we condense down most of that academic process into just six months yep. of learning from books and being in front of a lecturer. And then after that six months, the students get an opportunity. And, and in fact, we guarantee the opportunity to do work in Switzerland mm. for a full six month internship. And it's not like the internships in many other countries, e even here in Korea. Mm. It's an internship where the Swiss government insists mm. that you are paid a proper guaranteed salary of at least, mm. and I mean a minimum salary of only two and a half thousand US dollars every month for mm. the full six months, which means your employer needs to see that value back, which means you're going to be doing all the jobs mm. in every aspect of every part of that work, meaning that that working experience is truly valuable. It's, it's not working part-time in a KFC or a McDonald's. It's high-quality work with bosses that have understood and been successful in business already. And so for each year that you study, for example, in a bachelor's degree, you'll be doing three full-time, six-month paid jobs in different areas, which makes any young student's CV and or resume very powerful mm -hmm. compared to those that study in other countries. And, and even in the master's degree, they do a full six months of study and then back again, another six months where they're actually using what they learned in the classroom and that follows right through even into our MBA program, mm -hmm. which is quite a remarkable and almost boutique MBA, where students can come in. Um, they don't have to do the internship. They can use previous work experience or their current jobs, but the reality is many of our students actually want to do that work in Switzerland. Mr. Meister, our boss, he, yeah. he talks about <laughs> Swissness and, and, and learning that Swissness, the way, the efficiency, the, the, the ability to actually use what you learn in a classroom back in that six months paid work experience is, I think, the most valuable part of what we do. 자 이렇게 그 원래 6개월 공부하고 6개월 인턴십 하고 하는데 이 인턴십을 통해서 학생들이 실제로 졸업했을 때 얼마나 이게 취업이 잘 되는지 좀 부탁드리겠습니다. Yes, well. BHMS mm. is very fortunate. Mm. Uh, you could almost say lucky, but it, it, it's not been luck. Mm. We've developed an amazing reputation, mm. not just locally within Switzerland, but around the world mm. in terms of having students that are not only well versed in the operations and mm. procedures, but are actually prepared to work. Having done those internships, having proper references from real companies and real bosses, 
all of the people, the employers that we send our students to, understand that BHMS students are already mm. prepared to work, mm. which means that almost all of our students, I won't say all, there are exceptions, but almost all of our students have job offers mm. internationally around the world in different parts almost before graduation mm, um, and before, definitely yeah. Yeah, definitely during the process of graduation they find out where they're likely to study mm. what they would likely to do and and in real terms i encourage all of our students when they first get to the school mm. go and see our internship department mm. they are an extraordinary group of people who know how to get you where you would like to go mm. so go and see them tell them what you want to do Tell them where you would like to work and and if you follow their directions and of course don't get fired yeah. from those jobs uh, that they tell you to do and, and, and passing your exams is obviously an important part of what they do as well so so pass your exams and then during the internship show up for work in time and work hard and there's an extremely high probability that you'll get those positions not just in the companies that you'd like to work for, and they're very well recognised companies, but almost anywhere in the world. And, and that job offer, it, it continues on even after graduation. And for, for years to come, you can call our internship department and mm. say, look, I'd, I'd like a change of pace or a change of location, and yeah. they'll help you and assist you finding jobs yeah. and giving you references mm. almost for the rest of your life, which mm. is, I think, one of the most valuable resources that our students gain after graduation. 자, 이게 정말 이제 취업도 잘 되고 학교 시스템도 좋은 학교인데요. 그렇다면 이제 만약에 이렇게 스위스 유학을 준비하고자 한 학생들에게 어떤 조언이나 충고가 있으면 부탁드리겠습니다. Studying abroad is, yeah. is always going to be a little scary. Yeah. I mean, students are, you know, taking on really a parent's biggest investment mm. by studying abroad and and that can be quite daunting or scary. Mm. And so the first thing I'll say, which may sound a little odd, is take with you a little bit of courage. Mm. Um, Switzerland is literally one of the safest places in the ah. world, uh, despite the fact that there are more guns per person mm. in Switzerland than any other country in the world. Yeah. It is literally one of the safest countries in the world. And Switzerland takes Swiss students, or, sorry, international students, mm very seriously and the mm. safety of those students is paramount so the first thing is take a little bit of courage with you mm. but secondly in preparation mm. you're going to have an opportunity a 10 minute walk to the train station to travel to just about any european mm. country and so take the time if you can before you go to practice a little bit of some of those languages. Mm. Jump onto the internet and watch a few YouTube videos mm. or, or speak to these guys yeah. here and they'll, they'll be able to assist you as well. But things like Duolingo and learn a little bit of German, a little bit of French, a little bit of Italian. Mm. I mean, those opportunities that you'll have while you're at the school may never come back again in life. I mean, mm. I, I wish I would had the opportunity to travel when mm. I was younger. And that's when the students again, get a chance to develop not just professionally, but personally. And so if you can focus a little bit on some of those languages, and of course, focus on English and, and the other ones that are the, the core languages, but having the ability to just speak a few words mm -hmm. in other languages, not only will help you when you arrive at the school and travel around a bit, but will be something that stays with you for life. And mm -hmm. again, communication skills, soft skills they often mm. call them I, I think more life skills mm. having those few words develops a sense of confidence and self-assurance in the students which will take them a long way and help them to not only attract business but attract everyone to them mm. so they become a powerful entity and i think that providing you know obviously bring some warm clothes because it can get a little mm. chilly um, the students themselves actually have to wear suits Mm. when they're at the school, not just for breakfast, lunch and dinner during the week yeah. and for classes too. So I'd prepare a couple of nice fitted suits, that type of thing. Again, helps them develop confidence when they're there. Obviously they can get things made when they're there if they wish or purchase just about anything in Switzerland. I mean, mm. Switzerland does have probably the best retail industry mm. in the world as well. But 
if you can get things ready and prepared before you go, it makes just a little less stress for when the students arrive. 자, 지금까지 우리 앤드리 씨를 모시고 어, BHMS에 대해서 알아봤습니다. 이제 여러분들 혹시 스위스 유학을 준비하시거나 호텔 경영에 관심이 있으시다면 꼭 오셔서 저희에게 문의를 주시고요. 한번 필요하시다면 저희가 엔드류 씨를 저희가 초청해서 또 한번 뭐 설명회라든지 다양한 행사를 열도록 하겠습니다. 지금까지 이렇게 어, 설명해 주셔서 감사합니다. 땡큐. 땡큐. 땡큐, 미스터 존. 다음 시간에 뵙겠습니다. 바이바이.